So before we begin incorporating Python into Power BI, we need to ensure that you have a proper installation of Anaconda. And Anaconda is the Python installation that we want to use because it's really good and really thorough and it comes with a lot of packages. So this is the Anaconda page. All you're going to do is go to get started, download Anaconda installers. You're going to pick your operating system. I am going to do Python 3.8 and I am going to do the 64-bit installer. And you can see that is downloaded in my browser. It's a pretty sizable download, so ensure that you have enough space. I'm going to open that up. Now that it is downloaded and execute the file just by clicking it. Now you can see here's your Anaconda setup. So let's go through that. I'm going to hit next. You have to agree to the licensing licensing agreement. Uh, I'm going to do the recommended install. Here is where the destination folder is going to be. We're going to have to remember this when we set up this in Power BI. However, we're going to create our own virtual environment that makes things a little bit easier and cleaner. And we're going to talk about that later in the course. So as you see, mine is already installed in that location. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to change that. And then I'm going to move it over. So make sure you have um, free space in a good location to install this. Then you're going to get to this part where it says add to my path for an environmental variable. Uh, no, we're not going to choose this. We're going to just have a default one. And then you're going to click install and then it's going to install. So once you finish with your install, hit next. Then your Anaconda is installed and you want to just hit finish your setup. First thing it's going to take you to is a tutorial. However, the main thing we want to be able to use is some of the features. So I'm going to click this off and I'm going to go to Anaconda. So once you load up the Anaconda Navigator, this is what you'll see. You can see that you have a couple different IDEs, such as Jupyter Notebooks, and that will allow you to program. We also have Spider. We're mostly going to use Jupyter Notebooks and probably a little bit of Spider in the course. But however, PyCharm is a great one. But first, I want to familiarize you with the Anaconda prompt which is going to be very integral to us loading in packages that we want into our environment. So we're going to go through adding packages in our next video. Thank you.